one thing that's been uh, a source of great frustration for me is trying to explain to mostly younger people, um, but we'll we'll just say naive people, which okay. you know are often young, sure. um, that <laughs> the the state or you know the establishment mm-hmm. does not do anything out of a charity mm-hmm. or kindness or mercy or anything mm-hmm. but everything that is done is done for one specific purpose and that is to further the agenda or you know perpetuate the state and that's yeah that's any institution uh, i think that i forget again who the quote was from but uh somebody in the mid uh 1800s uh, observed that the uh, I think it was a French guy um, observed that the the first priority and prerogative of any organization well not really necessarily organization by um, the standard by the definition of the author of, uh, of uh, boundaries of order but um, you know the but of any institution would be to uh, perpetuate and to grow that institution and that's it. Right, and that's and that's the problem with institutions is because they are not uh, literally um, beings; they're not life itself. Right. Um, they they necessarily detract from the uh, from the life of the individuals that comprise that institution. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, in times past, and to a certain extent to this very day, uh, some ins- you know that trade off is is worth it. That trade off of liberty for um, you know, whatever benefit you're going for by establishing this institution, whatever order, uh, how um, be it. But uh, I think we're seeing that with the increase in the ability for individuals to communicate with each other and the accuracy of said communication um, makes it less and less necessary and therefore less and less uh, uh, beneficial to make that trade off. Because you don't have, you know, the trade-off that you would get is efficiency by centralizing power, whereas uh, now we've, we we have the ability to communicate efficiently and think for ourselves efficiently uh, in, a, in a timely manner to where we can affect our own, uh, you know, our own surroundings in a informed manner, uh, which wasn't possible, you know, in the, you know, before the internet, really. That's a great uh, point. So you know now now that we can the, the trade offs that we're you know the what we're actually getting in return for our uh tra- you know for giving up our liberty is is sim- is not only not worth it it's it's uh obsolete mm. um it's 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 you know it's a day late and a dollar short compared to what we could do for ourselves yeah. uh without giving up anything and 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 where that you know the conflict comes from where I get into a position where I have to where I feel as though I have to tell, you know, uh, be the bearer of bad news and say, hey, you know sure. what I mean? Your government doesn't love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, exactly. You know, Santa Claus, mommy government is, you know, doesn't done love you, man. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Or, or, yeah. or whoever. And because, you know, they say, oh, well, you know, health care this and college education that. and Right. And uh, you know, food stamps, da 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 da. You know, and th- this is this has to be. This is necessary because you know. Then they get into the, you know, the aspect that how it's humanitarian and and merciful and, and da 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 da. And it's like, okay, that that's fine for us, for you, or to to perceive it as you know, the effect is yes, the effect is a positive one where it can be a positive force in someone's life that they receive the the money for the food stamps sure. or, or or whatnot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It can also be a crutch and, and abused and, and become uh a dependence too. Uh, absolutely. You know, that whatever. But yeah, just don't care. Mm-hmm. but the you know the fact is is that, you know, people like that's what I'm saying is listen person, you know, you have to understand that this um service or this, you know, is not being provided out of right. anything other, you know, somewhere that yeah. is some somewhere that is aiding the state. Yeah, you know what well, I mean. It comes from somewhere, you know. Yeah. Uh, and if if that was ta- if it was taken forcefully, then it really doesn't matter what the you know supposed end. At least in my opinion, I mean, there I, I actually saw 
I've, I've seen plenty of people argue that you know the ends can justify the means in such yeah. a manner, yeah. but I think that's a, a, a terribly anemic uh, way of viewing reality <sighs> and uh, and kind of the, the the way life works and the way humanity works. Um, I think Mises uh, Ludwig von Mises had it dead on when he said that uh, you know humans at the most basic level the, the reason humans act however they're acting is to alleviate perceived discomfort i believe okay. um there's there's something something along those lines yeah and suffering. basically uh yeah uh, to I either alleviate or to avoid um you know some sort of discomfort and that also works the other ways you know a, a lot of times when they don't act it's it's also to avoid right. uh, you know discomfort or perceive or the perception that there will be uh discomfort if they act in a certain way or don't act in a certain way what have you and, and uh you know, you just got to look at that in the big picture. Yeah, you can yeah. point a gun oh, yeah, absolutely. at somebody and make them do pretty much whatever you want. But, you know, um, if you have to work with that person again in the right. future or if, you sure. know, as soon as you turn around, he pulls out a gun, you know. And, you know, these these are metaphors for um, the bigger picture when you're dealing with society, dealing with individuals. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can make laws that say you got to act this way all day. But at the end of the day, um, how are you really going to make sure that your society doesn't crumble in on itself? Are you really respecting the uh, praxeological? That's the term that Ludwig von Mises kind of coined as far as the study of human action as opposed to sociology or psychology, which would be what people are doing. Uh, praxeology is, is why, you know, uh, or, or I guess actually, no, it's, that's backwards. Like this.